I got some things I want to show you. Make sure I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. Good morning, everyone. It's Kim. I have a girlfriend who just messaged me. Uh, she lives out of town that she's thinking about painting her cabinets. And it was a beautiful blue with a dark uh, wax on top of it. I told her that I would show her a little bit of a mock-up on how to do at least part of the door. So stay with me here. Um, we are going to be using our chalk country paint and I'm going to be using uh, my, uh, I've never known how to pronounce this, Fidus and Sons. It is the uh, Jacobian color. We want this to be dark with the picture she showed. Now normally you don't have to do anything for prep except make sure this isn't been sanded very good. You do not have to sand, but this is a fresh piece of wood. I just want to make sure this is smooth. Then I'm going to wipe it off with a, a plain cloth here. This is bag of rags, and this will be really good for taking the wax off when you polish. So I'm just making sure I have everything clean, go in all your nooks and crannies. And like I said, I do not have the blue color, which would have been perfect because that shows uh, the color that she was wanting to um, use. But I'm going to show her a big difference in just using what my paint is here, which is totally teal by uh, Country Paint. So let me get this stirred up and then we'll get started. Make sure anytime you open your paint, you get it pretty well mixed up. And with these, they haven't been used in a while. So I definitely want to make sure that I uh, get it mixed up really well. So, okay, here we go. So in order to get into the nooks and crannies, it might be a good idea to use a smaller brush, just depending on how, how big those nooks and crannies are. So there is no sanding, there's no cleanup. If these cabinets have been in a kitchen for a while, um, I want you to clean them off very well and get the grease off. But as far as having to sand down whatever you have on them, there's no need. Okay. Putting the paint on is no big deal. Get into your nooks and crannies here. And we'll get a nice coat put on here. Uh, when you're painting, it's not any big deal how you move around it's the waxing we have to be real cautious and very careful of okay so i'm going to paint half of this cabinet door and then we will wax it now if you're doing your cabinet doors here i want you to clean it clean it with like uh, mr clean or something like that clean all your cabinets because they do have grease on them even if they're well away from your stove or because the grease just travels through the air when you're cooking then, I'm going to switch to my bigger brush here. <clears throat> then I want you to take all your doors off. Take off your hardware. Then you can paint the frames of your cabinet doors. Now, there is no reason that you need to paint inside the cabinets, okay? You're just going to paint the parts that people will see. I just got a little hair here. Um... Because if you really look at them, the insides of your cabinets might be finished, but they're not finished like a piece of furniture, okay? So don't put yourself through all of that. There's no need for it. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, what we call totally teal. This actually is my very favorite color of our, our uh, country paint that we uh, sold in the store. All right, so let me get... These edges just a little bit. I'm not going to worry about doing down the sides here. I just want to get everything that you would be seeing. <clears throat> and then we will let this dry. And depending on the humidity in the room, how cool it is, how hot it is in the room, will depend on how long it takes to dry. It doesn't take very long. If you're going to do a second coat, 
you probably, in normal circumstances, can do that second coat in 10 or 15 minutes, okay? Just depends. Make sure you don't have any gunk in here. Okay, so there is our first coat. So I will be back with you in just a couple of minutes. It's been about five minutes now and I can see, I've got a fan on and that will help also. I can see some spots that are already starting to dry where I can actually touch it, but the insides here and a little bit, you can see it still has the wet look to it. I don't know if I can show you, see where it's kind of shiny? that's still wet. Okay, it's been about another five minutes or so and I see that most all of it is dry with the exception of a tiny bit in a couple of nooks. So I'm gonna give that just another minute. We can go ahead and get started with the wax now. This is the point that you would distress this if that's what you wanted to do. And you would just take uh, some sandpaper and just go into the edges here. Don't let it be too dry or the paint, we'll have a hard time getting it up. So what I'm gonna do is just take a little section here, distress it a little, just so that you can see where the paint comes off here on the edges. And when you distress, it should look like what a cabinet would look like with age, around where your hardware is, little areas that were touched constantly over the years, um, sometimes I see stuff that is so distressed, it's like ridiculous. It looks like you took the paint off everywhere. So all you want is this undercoating, uh, whether it is an old stain or if you painted white underneath this or black or whatever it is, to show through, okay, just enough. So that's all I'm gonna do for that. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off. I am using a very dark wax today. So let me start waxing on. And we're only gonna let this sit for just a couple minutes, okay? We do not want this to stay on here so long. So already look at how beautifully dark this is getting. It totally transforms. And I'm using, I'm actually just using a, a chalk painting brush. You can put this on with a wax brush, a t-shirt, whatever you're more comfortable with. There's no fast and hard rules to this. going to just do this up real quick. Try to follow the grain. No swirling. If you swirl, you're not getting it out. Okay, so don't go on like you're polishing your furniture. And I think I'm going to start You can always put more wax on. Okay, I'm gonna start wiping here. Let me get a good edge on here. And as you polish, I forgot to get this on. As you polish it, you're gonna see it kind of come to life. You'll see a shine through there. Can always add more.
I'm gonna let this sit here just a second and then we'll go back over that and So there's no prep work whatsoever. Just make sure that they're thoroughly cleaned. No sanding. Uh, there's nothing you need to do with the exception of if you're taking off your cabinet hardware and you're going to put something new on that may have uh, different bracketing to it, you may want to fill your holes and then go ahead and paint over them. Okay. And then that way you have uh, fresh it's a fresh look for new hardware and you don't have old holes that, uh, there that you don't know what to do with. All right. All right, there you have it. If you're doing something for cabinets or furniture, things that are going to be uh, touched a lot, you're going to wax this like four or five times. If this is just a picture frame or something that you're just going to hang and leave alone and not touch, you're going to want to go ahead and go over that uh, just the one time, maybe twice, okay? So look at the shine there. It is just gorgeous. And the difference in the paint. Look at that color. You would never know that that was the same color that you were using. All right, I hope this gives you some incentive to go ahead and uh, do a, another little project with our shelter at home now. It's a perfect time to uh, do something new, do something fun, do something you haven't had time to do. This was fun, I'm glad I could do it for you.